Okay, folks, here we are on Ashmore's Arboretum. We are at my parents' house today, and it has been about three weeks since I last sprayed fruit trees with pure cold pressed neem oil. Today, I'm going to be spraying with horticultural spray. We are currently in the pre bloom stage, the buds have already burst. We're past the green tip and it's time to spray again so we can get a production of fruit this, this fall. So I have my my wand and bucket already primed up. Let's get these sprayed real quick. This formula calls for two tablespoons, I'm sorry, two and a half tablespoons of product per every gallon of water. I have a one gallon sprayer here. I also have a two gallon sprayer there, you know, for my orchard. But I have a one gallon sprayer here, so that's two and a half tablespoons that I'm using for this. And because the predominant wind today is coming from the east, we're gonna spray from the east, so that way we get full coverage on everything. We're not having as much waste. Let's get this done. Definitely want to get the underside of every limb. Okay, now that we're done spraying these trees, I want to show you guys a few things. Number one, it only took right out of gallon to spray both these trees. You wouldn't get right up through the canopy all the way to the very tip top if you can. Number two, when I'm talking about pre-bloom stage, that's what I'm talking about. You have the buds are broke, but before flowers have formed. So the buds have already broke on these trees, but we are not quite yet to the flowering stage yet. That's what I mean by pre-bloom. Both of these trees have been somewhat neglected over the last couple of years. So I did some heavy, heavy pruning earlier this year. However, I could not prune all that I wanted to because it probably would end up killing the tree. Um, so I took about, honestly, I took about 40% of the canopy earlier this year and I'll come back in the fall and I'll prune some more. Um, you gotta do this stuff in stages. It'll take a couple of years to get these trees back under control, but we'll get them. Yeah, I've been working on trees on our homestead for going on four years, four or five years now. So it, it takes a little bit to get them back under control and it is kind of a slow process, but once they're under control, you're set. But we have sprayed these trees and saturated bark all the way from the ground layer all the way from the ground on up to the very tip top of the canopy these trees are all been saturated that's what you want that's what will keep these insects and mildews and fungus and other things that plague fruit trees at bay. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on the progression of our fruit trees this year and in a couple more weeks we'll be back out here spraying again. Until next time, God bless. Thanks for watching.